Hey everyone, Shannon Willits here. It's happy Saturday. Um, I have a really fun class planned for you guys. Um, it's loosely based on our control format. So you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a chair. It doesn't have to have a, oh yes it does, it needs to have a high back. Because this is your bar right here. This will be your ballet bar. Um, instead of gliders, if you have a couple of little uh, bath cloths or hand towels, whatever, um, we'll use them on the floor, so not the good stuff. Um, and just have those handy. And of course, you need water, because I think we're gonna sweat a little bit. <laughs> I have a couple puppies running around here, so you might see them. All right, so we're gonna get this party started. You guys ready? So the first thing we're gonna do is a dynamic standing warm up, just like you would do at Club Pilates in the classroom. So we're just gonna take the feet a little bit wide and turn out. I'm gonna back up so you can see my feet. The arms are just gonna reach overhead. Exhale, let the arms just flow down. So just centering mind on body, noticing the breath expands and on the exhale contracts, right? So we'll do that throughout the workout. So it's always that Pilates breathing, exhale. So on the next one, inhale, reach overhead. And on the next one, just reach down, sit in, into a little sumo squat, reach the hands overhead. That's your inhale. Exhale, drive the knees open. We'll go a little bit faster. Just feeling those hips dynamically warming up. Exhale, two. And last one. Now, just stand up. Just bring those legs in. You're in a more parallel stance. We're gonna come into a squat pattern. Reach the hands forward, stick your bum out. We'll turn to the side. Reach your hands forward, booty back. So you're stretching the back of your hip here. And that's a good thing, because we sit on that thing a lot, don't we? Keep these going, always toning the core, and exhale abs, right? Two more. And then from here, we're gonna add a knee lift on the next one. Your left leg's coming up, try to balance over the right. Step, squat, knee up. Step, squat, knee up. Keep the breath flowing, sending the butt back, feeling that nice stretch through the back of the hip. And again. Last one here and just settle those legs a little bit wide and turned out. So we're gonna do a standing saw. So engaging through the butt just a little bit, slip the shoulder blades down, start with spine twist, and then we'll just find center. Spine twist and find center. Now we're adding spine twist, nod the head. Now the back thumb needs to flip up. So you're coming into forward bend, I'm reaching my hand toward my foot. But the point here is abdominals contracting to flex the spine. So the back thumb flips up, you come back to center. I'm gonna turn a little bit on an angle, rotate. Good, flip the back thumb up, reaching the hand over, but the belly is firm. Roll up, flip the thumb up, and then come through the center. Inhale, turn. Nod the head, that back thumb goes, there it is, round over. Roll up, breathing through the center. Nod the head, exhale, flex the spine. Roll up, breathe, and just come back to center. So from here, you're gonna take a split stance. So your left foot, right foot is forward, and then that uh, opposite leg is back. Let's keep it easy on me today, right? So on the inhale, I want you to rotate laterally over and then come back to center. We'll go to the other side. So opening up the side body, including the pelvis. 
It's almost like you want to reach up to go over, creating a nice arc and you're pulling out of your waist. I like to inhale on my side bends and breathe and side. This time we're gonna add a twist to the front leg and then come back and side and open to the front leg, rotate. Just two more, side, breathe in. Find center, exhale, rotate. Last time, breathe. Find center and exhale, rotate. To transition, just step back, switch sides. Right there, arms go out. We'll do those side bends again, just noticing the difference. Inhale and center. Doing your best not to lock the pelvis. You don't want it to slide over either. So there's tone through the side of your pelvis and those inner thighs that keep you from sliding left and right. Feeling so good. Now we'll add rotation. Come up, hold center, rotate toward the front leg. Come back, side bend and center and rotate and center. Two more of those. Breathe in, lengthen up, good. Twist, center, last time here, breathe. Center and rotate and center. We're just gonna step forward, legs hip distance apart. We're just gonna do a roll down. So nice and tall, reach the arms over the head. Legs are about hip width. Look down at the floor. Round spine, just flexing the upper back to start. And then the fingertips are just gonna reach toward the floor, but the glutes are toned. So you're just really hanging over through the spine. And then if you need to bend your knees to get to the floor, fine. Fingertips might tap the floor. You're just gonna roll back up to that hang position. That's where your legs go straight. And then it's vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae with the head being the last vertebrae. So I'm gonna show you from this side because this is a heavy abdominal exercise. Really tune into your core. So on the inhale, the arms go up. On the exhale, you look down at the floor. You notice my arms are reaching down, but my belly is firm, my butt is staying underneath. And I come into that hang position, you see. I go as far as I can, keeping my butt right there. Don't let it go back. Once you find the end of your range, soften your knees so that you can get a little bit more. You might be able to do this with straight legs. It's a great hamstring stretch, but the belly is firm. Rolling up, breathing in, head is last. One more time, the arms are up, breathe. Drop the gaze, round, same technique. Exhale, core, 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 really pulling up through those ribs. And then just finishing with that soft knee. Inhale, start your roll up. This is where the pelvis comes to vertical, rolling the spine, stacking up on top of the pelvis and the head pops up last. Okay, so we're ready to move with our chair, our bar, grab a sip of water. Right, I'm doing good on time. I gave myself eight minutes for that, you guys, keeping me honest. Okie dokie. So you've got your chair and your hands are just there. That's just two points of stability for you. And we're just gonna come into a squatting pattern, which we've already done, but now we're really warm, right? So exhale, squat, send the butt back. Inhale, lift. Adjust your position, exhale, squat. So the chair or the bar, you know how it is, it gives you just a little bit more depth where you might not have gotten it before. Feel free to let go of the chair. Again, it's there for support. You wanna exhale, find your core. There's a temptation to let your belly hang here. Good, you guys, we're just gonna do some tiny pulses. So you're gonna go halfway up, halfway down. So I want you to follow my tempo. Sometimes with pulses, we just pulse like that. That just creates tension. This is a little bit more dynamic, 
creating length on the way down, strength on the way up. So really moving through your hip joint here, very functional for us all. Last one, and then we're gonna come right on up and stand. We're gonna take that wide sumo position. So it's a very athletic position that we're working with here. So golf and racket people, this are for you. Really open the legs. So I like to think of spiraling at my hip joint here. It engages and, and connects at my sacrum. That feels super good. And then it's down and up. And you can see I'm keeping my spine fairly vertical. Right now, I'm really focusing on my legs rotating out. Firm the belly every exhale. So I'm gonna change my spine angle a little bit more forward. If you guys are out on the pickleball court, this is you. This is your ready position. Really nice to open at the hip. Get you ready to take off across the court after that ball. We're gonna do some pulses here. Up a little, really deep, go down. Because this is really working into the length of the hip, that posterior hip. So opening here and inner thigh, right at the groin. So many injuries there, right? Two more. One more. And then stand all the way up. All right, so we're gonna just come into a parallel position. I'm gonna move away a little so you can see what my ankles will be doing. Good, so we're gonna come up into a high half toe. And we're just gonna come down. So we know high half toe from the foot bar, on the reformer, of course, and also on the exo chair, if you're taking flow two. Now we're gonna come down into just a small squat here, and then stand up and lower down. I'm gonna make a small adjustment. Stand, I'm gonna angle forward, and then come up and lower down. Lift, angle forward, you see what I'm doing? Lift and come down. Lift, up and down. Now lift and hold. Running, two, ankle articulations. You've got some, some tone in your butt here. Don't over fire, you want the hip knee to move. You'll notice that my knee is driving forward, which is creating a hip flexion. You're not even thinking about it, right? Four, three, two, one. Lift the heels, lower the heels. Good, that's the chair section one. Sip of water, everybody, cheers. So short box, short box series from the reformer. I'm gonna sit facing this way because I need to roll back. There we go, that's better. <laughs> All right, so I've got my sits bones. Mm, they're pretty far forward. I'm gonna sneak my feet a little bit forward so they're not necessarily under my knees. My arms are reaching forward, lifting, lengthening the spine. Breathe. And on the exhale, tap, roll back. So I'm hollowing the belly. I'm moving my pelvis away from my thigh. And then on the inhale, just come right back up to vertical. So on the exhale, tilt, scoop the belly in. And then inhale, just rolling back to vertical, to the sits bones, right? So on the exhale, you're still lengthen as you lift through the pelvic floor and all the way up to the diaphragm there. And then inhale, you feel more lift to come up and out of it. So it's very dynamic. The breath turns on those stabilizers, abdominals, and then the length. You're working your back body here. So two more. And breathe. One more, and breathe. So I'm gonna take my hands to the back of my head. On the exhale, half roll back. I'm gonna add a rotation to the side. Center, 
to the side. Center, two more rotations. Exhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe in. Exhale, now you're gonna come into forward bend. So rounding over, rolling up, stacking up back to your start position on your inhale. And on the exhale, half roll back. Same technique. Breathing in, we're gonna go the opposite direction. Rotate four. Now keep your knees pretty still. They're gonna move a tiny little bit, but you don't wanna shimmy and shake the hips on this. There is a tiny little bit of movement, so it's not locked, but it's stable. Breathe in, exhale. Here comes that forward bend again. Stack the spine, roll it back up. Again, working those abdominals. Exhale, rotation. Breathe, rotation. Two more, turn. Exhale, turn. And forward bend. Rolling up, inhale. We've got one more of those. Tilt the pelvis. Hold, breathe deep. Exhale, twist. I bet you're excellent at this now, right? And two more. Last one. Wonderful. Here we go. Forward bend. And roll it up. So from here, I'm going to just turn and face you. And we're going to do a, a mermaid, but we're going to take this mermaid with a wide leg position. So I call this goppis. It's open, right? The arms are up. Notice that the inclination is to lift the ribs. Just get them back a little bit. So hopefully you're feeling some length through the inner thighs. So again, I want you to think about this. I want you to lift up, feel the length in your spine, right? And then on the exhale, we're gonna go to, over to the side, but I want you to think up to go over. So it's not like you're dumping over, because I could, but that's not the point. It's lift to go over. Do you see the technique? And then inhale, feel length, and let's settle down in the middle. I see what I did, right? So I'm gonna lift. Exhale, lift more to open up through the side. That feels delicious. And then inhale, lift to lengthen. Exhale, I'm gonna settle down in the middle. See it? So it's like a pump. Lift, side, lift, pump up, over, feeling good? Yeah, lift and down. So we're gonna add a little bit. I'm gonna take my arm here. Now this hand, rotate. Now the rotation has lift. So I'm lifting up to go over. Try not to shrug your shoulder. Breathe in, spin out, find that side bend. Come to vertical and then lower down, see? Coming up, breathe. Side, take the arm. My hand is just a guide, it's a rotation. I'm really just reaching my finger toward my knee. I'm lifting up and I'm rotating my spine. I feel wonderful stretch across my shoulder blade. Come out to the side, bend, lift, and down you go. I'm literally tractioning my neck right here. So I'm lifting up, I'm using my hands. I side bend, reach. Rotation, abdominals, abdominals, abdominals. And find the side. Lift. Woo, one more, are you sweating? Side. Rotate. Pull the belly in, reach. Are you getting further? I am, breathe, come up, and lower down and rest. Woohoo! how are you? Big sweat going on. Well, we're just gonna take advantage of the sweat. <laughs> we're gonna do like a full ab series. 
I know you're excited. Okay, so the ab series, it's familiar, right? Single leg stretch, we'll do double leg stretch, we'll do crisscross, I think we'll do scissor, we'll do bicycle. Maybe we'll take a rest in the middle, okay. So you've got a, you know, a little space. It's about the size, mine is about the size of the exo chair on the top here. So if you've ever done abs up there, that's what this is like. So I'm really scooching it forward because I really want my shoulder blade at the edge here, okay. So scooch. And there we are. So first, legs in tabletop. Imprint your spine. Single leg stretch. I like to go slow. Look at my hands. They're just a guy. I'm not pulling. Good. Four more. Two. Tabletop legs. Now right here, keep your chest up. This is the challenge. Double leg stretch. So don't fall back, okay? Ribs down, eyes up. Don't look at the sky. In fact, look at your knees. Look at your feet. If the legs are too low, it's way harder. So choose your range. I like that 45. That feels happy to me. One more. I'm feeling a break. How about you? I'm going to grab a knee. I'm going to sit myself up. Woo! So sometimes challenging on the neck. I was starting to feel a little bit, so I wanted to pull out of it, just like you would in class, right? So you start feeling your neck. It's an indicator that your abs are like, they're checked out. So 10, 15 seconds can make a huge difference. So here we go. We're going to do scissor and bicycle. So we're going to find that position again. It's imprinted shoulder blades. I got them. Good. So in the scissor, the legs go up straight. I'm going to keep my chest up. I'm going to split one leg down. It's a pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, and I'm pumping my bottom leg to down, down, switch, in, in, see? Just two more. Now bicycle is here. Slow, try to bend the knee to get the foot toward the floor, you'll get a quad stretch. Siri's trying to help. Taking your time, working on the position. Nicely done, you guys. I know you're feeling that, right? Bend the knees. Here's a treat. Now take care of your neck. Inhale, go back. Fold the elbows in. Exhale, curl up. Only two more. So do you feel your abdominal stretching? Don't let your neck hang, support. Elbows in, curl, slide the ribs, feel it. Yeah, one more. Curl, grab a knee, sit it up. Ah, sweating, good job you guys. Drink some water, okie dokie. Plank. This is kind of a yummy plank though. Ah, cheers. And then we'll get our gliders out. Okay, so plank is going to have always a series with me, you guys. So we've got plank. We'll take it to a cat, into a pike. Then we'll come into a swan. You'll see, it'll flow really nice. So the first thing is just to get situated with your plank. One of the advantages of working with the chair is that you can grab the side and lengthen your wrist a little bit. So I like that, I think that feels good. 
Now the shoulder blades are going to slide down immediately, right on down. The belly is going to be firm, and there it is, plank position. So this is not a plank, this is not a plank, right? The hips are down, the shoulders are down. I've got my inner thighs together, so that's a lot of control at the pelvis and the plank. So we're just going to take the plank up a little like a cat, right? So I'm in my round back. And then I'm just going to come back, plank position, okay? So it goes cat, plank. One more there, cat, plank. Got to do one more because that was kind of pikey. Cat, feel the shoulders round. And there it is. So now we're going to go cat and then drive the hips back. There's your pike. That feels good underneath my armpits because I'm driving my hips back. So I'm getting a really beautiful shoulder stretch. From here, lift the heels. Roll through your cat. Feel it? You got your cat. Now right here, tone your butt. Lift your chest, shoulder blades together. We'll call it swan. And then plank by lifting the ribs. Did you see what I did? Lift the ribs. Cat, pike, lift the heels, rolling through the cat, plank, swan, plank, see, cat, pike, lift the heels, roll through the cat, plank, swan, one more time, cat, there's that pike, that's the break, lift the heels round, lengthen, swan, plank, let's end in pike, round cat, pike, and then bend knees, and just stack it up and come back up, woo! How are you doing? Oh, I hope you'll leave me some comments. I hope you love it. I'm feeling good. A little sweaty. Wow. Okay. So we're going to work with the gliders, your towels. And I've got two. But we're going to start with one. And I'm going to just step over so that I can reach my foot forward as well as back. Okay. So I've just got the ball of my foot on the little towel. I'm going to get where you guys can see my foot. And I want to just start with an ankle articulation. So my, my right leg, my standing leg is firm, right? But I've got a toe point here. The hard part right here is to come through a neutral ankle. You see? And then I drive it back, and then I point the toe again. See how I flex my ankle to drive forward? Point my toe, ankle, to go forward. So I'm going through a range of motion at my ankle. So very <laughs> important in life to have mobile and stable ankles. You think about it, right? Your feet, your ankles, they support the knee. Big time, the hip, 33 joints in the foot, they need to articulate. You guys know I'm a fan of a foot release. You know I actually did one before I shot this. Because <laughs> it's just such a good idea. So we're gonna take this into a little bit of a lunge. Now, my right leg, I'm really strong in that leg, but as I come down, my hip is stretching in the back. So my left leg is firm, my quad is pulling up through my knee so that my leg can be straight and I've got a hip flexor stretch which feels good after those abs. I'm going to stand up with my right leg. You see what my ankle is doing on my left foot? It's exactly the same. My belly is firm. You see how I angle my spine slightly forward? I use my woo right leg working on balance today to stand up, ankle, 
ankle, knee bends, pelvis tips forward, kind of like Eve's lunge, right, on the performer. I like it standing, it's a little bit more dynamic. You guys know I like to uh, train those uh, racket sport athletes, those golfers. So these are like dailies for them. And it's dailies for us because walking, right? This is basic walking 101 right here because walking is a series of lunges. Wouldn't you say? Nice, so I think that was about 10. I'm gonna turn my chair. Let's just do the other side, just to get the pelvis balanced in these moves. And then we'll add some stuff on. Okie dokie. So it's forward and back. See the point? Flex, point. Flex, point. So I don't know about you, but Boy, I'm 5'2". I really wore the high heels. And uh, I did ballroom for a long time in three-inch heels. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I really hurt myself doing that. So these types of movements are so critical in my uh, self-care practice, coupled with lunges, again, because the feet and the lunge and the hips, they're, you know, big communicators. That feels like 10. We're gonna add the lunge. You ready for that? See the ankle? Same situation. I'm just driving my foot back. Look how I'm tipping forward with my spine angle. So my pelvis is tipped forward, my belly is firm, my leg is really strong and straight. I'm gonna use this leg to stand up and I'm driving through that ankle point to come forward. Reach, come up. Yeah, so I did tango, I did a lot of tango. So you can imagine, you've seen the legs on those tango dancers, right? So incredibly, ooh, perfect and straight, precise. I can't do those dances anymore. I like the swing dances. You know why, because I can wear flats, ha ha. <laughs> Good, you guys. So I know you're feeling this at your hips, right? Dynamic length in the front and in the back when you go down on this one. Dynamic strength when you stand up on that front leg. One more coming up after this. And breathe. And lift, good. Alrighty, so from here, I'm gonna switch sides. We're gonna have both towels down and you need room to rotate because we are going to rotate around to the other side. Okie dokie. So just going to slide so you guys can see. I know it's hard to see my feet when I'm standing. Here we go. So the left leg is going to bend. I'm going to circle my right leg out and around. I'm just going to bend the left leg a little bit to start. I'm going to stand up with my left leg, circle and come back to start. So you can see I point, reach forward, right? We already build that skill, rotate. The leg is slightly behind. I bend the knee a little, stand up, and rotate. It's sort of like a curtsy with a lot of precision, right? So the pelvis does rotate. And I bend, and come up, and rotate. So as my leg rotates, I let my pelvis rotate as well. So I'm literally kind of facing the camera and then rotate this way. Rotate. I could face the other way. Feels a little different on each side, have you noticed? And you can add a little bit of a range of motion if you would like. Deepening that lunge. You don't have to though, right? So range of motion is always pain free. Range of motion is what you can control. I like these, again, not just for dancers, but these are pickup skills, see? I'm gonna use it to pick up my ball. Use it to pick up my ball. So it's very dynamic when you add a reach. And your reach doesn't have to be big, it can just be to the knee. And it's creating a rotation at your spine. So very dynamic, tons of rotation in these moves. Just two more. 
One more. And then come up and woo, we'll shake that out. I know you feel your butt. I hope you do. All right, so from here, we're gonna take a seated figure four stretch. Well, we've got the chair. Okay, so let's begin with the left, your right leg. So I've got my ankle over my knee and my knee is in front of my hip. Take a deep breath, I want you to feel that pump again, that length. Exhale, hinge the body forward. Ah, oh, that feels nice. Easy hinge the body back up. I'm gonna turn to the side, I'm gonna go this way, because I want you to watch my spine angle again. So you can see I compress, I lift and lengthen, I hinge forward, not rounding, hinge. And that's gonna give you that nice stretch right there, and then come back up. And hinge. And come back up. So hopefully you're getting somewhere, right? Millimeter by millimeter, your goal is to keep your spine straight and then just gently come down. And don't worry, this can take some time. That feels like 10. I like to do 10 of everything. <laughs> Keeps me on track. Other leg. This is my tighter hip. Must be a dominant side, so I like to let gravity just let it soften, right? Again, pump, lift. Exhale, core, straight spine. Ooh, I'm not going as far. That's okay. So if uh, you happen to work at a desk, hmm, but you could do these. You know what I tell people? Every time you get up to go to the bathroom, which you better be, because you better be drinking water. <laughs> so every time you get up to go to the bathroom, maybe you break out five to 10 of these. By the end of the day, you should have a, quite a few under your belt. These are definitely good stretches because we do sit so much in our society, you know, and we are working at the desk. So these sort of offset the desk position. You guys know the desk position, right? Head forward, mouse, two or three screens. Even the girls sit like this. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just gonna do a quad stretch standing. Just nice and easy, reach back, grab your foot. Now, if your knee's out like mine, fine. Before you start pulling your arm, Try to get the knee in. So if you can get the knee in and under the hip, you're doing great. If yours is there, don't worry about it. So your goal here would be first to drive the knee back. So we still haven't done anything with our hand. So getting knee to knee, first goal. Breathe. Now, sometimes we can't really pull this off. So this would be legit right here. So it's fully supported. What you can do with this is just imprint the pelvis forward, but don't let the knee come up. So you drive the hip forward, engage the glute, tucking the bum under, and now you're in a supported quad stretch. So that's really nice. And it's the same thing here. If you're back here, you get your knee in and then you pull under and then maybe you add the elbow. Other side. So we're gonna turn. Let's see. Try to reach for the foot. If it's tight, mine are so tight, you guys. So remember the first thing is get the knee under the hip. If your knee is yeah, it's hanging out there. Just work with it. So think neutral, imprint. Neutral, can you feel when you imprint? Your stretch is getting a little bit better. So you can try that and then start to work the knee into the knee. 
right? If you feel stress or pain in the knee, you gotta back off. Same thing if your hip is really hyped, you gotta back off, you gotta put the foot on the chair. And then you can start to bend the elbow, reach. Holding that imprint, bend the elbow, reach. Two more, yeah. I think that's my tight side, okay. I got a hamstring stretch, guys. So we're gonna take a split stance. The chair is there for support, you really probably won't need it. My back leg bends, I drive my hip back, and then I stand straight up. So I call this one a rocking horse. Good. Again, this is a very athletic move. You could even lift the back foot for a little balance challenge. The arms come up. Firming the belly every time, you know it. Core turns on. Deep breath in. Exhale, abs. Deep breath in. One more time. Deep breath in. Stand up. Switch legs. You just step back. Starting nice and easy. Slow at first. I want you to notice that I'm lifting my toe here. I'm driving the hip back. And then I pick up my tempo. And maybe I try to balance up by lifting my foot. I'm barely lifting it. And guess what? That counts. <laughs> and reach. Just a few more. So, yeah, if you're playing golf, if you're playing pickleball, blah, tennis, <laughs> definitely break this one out on the court. Good, you guys. Yeah, so I do, I have a functional standing warm up. It's free. It's at, uh, let's see, pickleball-pilates.com. Free functional standing warm up, a lot of the stuff we just did. All right, we're just gonna finish it off with a nice stretch. All right, so this is spine stretch forward. So the arms reach up over the head. You round over just like cat. I like to find my knees, flex the spine, belly is firm. Inhale, rolling up. Reach the arms. Rounding over. Rolling up. Reach the arms. We're gonna add a little extension, just a little though. Rolling up, so right here, instead of reaching the arms, reach them back like a letter A. Just lift your breastbone, pelvis stays still, your gaze goes up, come back to neutral, arms overhead. Find the knees, flex the spine, reach. Rolling up, sweep. Reach, exhale, round, rolling up, letter A, breastbone up, neutral, reach overhead. See, I pull my ribs back, rounding over, rolling up, arms, neutral, see, and flex. One last one, reach, neutral, arms overhead, rounding forward, over, and reach, and stay. We're gonna do another mermaid. We're gonna use our hands to assist. Good, so one hand goes up to go over. 
the other hand goes at the ribs. Now you're not pulling, you're literally guiding. Now I want you to remember the pump. Lift, feel the length. And then just gently with your hand, pull your ribs, not over, but up and over in the head. I mean, I'm really just, as a guide, I'm not pulling my neck. Reach, come up, switch, up and over. Reach, we'll take the pump down. We'll come up. Reach, pump down, come up. Reach, two more, and over. Reach, pump down, lift, last time. Reach the arms up, reach them down and over. Down and over, and those hands come together. Ladies, gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun, I sure did. I'm sweating a little bit. All right. I hope you liked it. Leave me a comment. Bye.